Hello, so up to this point we've seen how to find and install Link for Windows onto your PC, how to install the Blue Giga Smart Dongle into a USB port, that was part two, and part three showed how to update your firmware on your GPS2 to allow for wireless workout data download. So the next step is, after we have the firmware upgrade, let's see how do we get this data off the GPS2 and onto our computer. So I'm going to assume you've gone out and had a couple rows and have some saved data in your uh, memory log on the GPS2. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is open up Link for Windows. And you want to make sure you're searching for speed coaches. If you says searching for dongle, I would unplug and replug it. Or if you're still having issues, go back to part two, which shows how to troubleshoot this. But we know we're good now. It says searching for speed coaches. So I'm going to turn on my GPS2. I'm going to hit the right button to get to the main menu. And I'm going to scroll down until I get to data link. Now as soon as I get the data link, I'm going to hit the right button again to select that, and it should say connected. And now you'll see that my renamed speed coach comes up. If you did not rename it, it would be your it would say speed coach and then the serial number, and that's how you can tell it is yours. Um, shouldn't be a problem unless you have multiple units. But I'm going to click on it and you'll notice that I will not get prompted for a firmware update because I have the latest and I can allow data uh, upload here. And it's automatically going to try and sync any data that is on the unit that will that is not on the computer. And we get the transfer complete and we have four sessions that were uploaded. Two of them were kind of not good uh, sessions. Really the two I did were a 500 meter workout which shows the workout name and a 2000 meter just go session. Um, just to let you know if you erase the data off well, using this erase button it is not erasing it from your GPS2. Again it is not erasing it from the GPS2. It's only erasing it from your computer so we erase it, and then if we go back and sync the data again, it's going to grab the one that's on the GPS2 that isn't on here. So we didn't really lose it. So First, we can just look at the data in the program itself. So if we double click on this, we'll see I did a just go row. If it was a workout, it would show the workout name here, um, but this is just a free row. About 2,000 meters. Um, this is the overall summary of the workout. Here's the interval summary. Um, if we did more than one interval, each interval summary would be here. And then if we want to dive down in, we double click on the interval and we can see each 100 meters summary. Um, this will go for the entire interval. And it'll give you your distance to time, the speed, stroke rate, heart rate, distance per stroke. I didn't have the heart rate hooked up during this row, so that's why that's blank. And just bear in mind that if you had your uh, setting set to split, it will show the split. If you had it set to speed, it'll show your speed. So really, it's going to record what you had as your uh, input value setting on the GPS2. And now we can go back and we can look at the other one where we did a 500 meter single distance workout. And we did it really fast, um, 49 seconds. Don't be trying to beat that time or you may hurt yourself. Um, but this was all simulated and we could go down and we'll see 100 meters each and all the same options as before. Now we go back and we'll show you how to export these files. So now let's say we want to export this file. And we want to look at it in Excel. How do we do this? Well, we click on the one we want to export, and we can actually do more than one by holding the control uh, control key down while we click on these. But let's just do one for now. Keep it simple. So we have the one we want to export. We go to this export file button, and we have two types of files that can be exported: FIT and CSV. FIT is grabbing all your GPS location data from all your workout sessions, and it's gonna Put it in a format where you can upload it to a website 
and view graphically your row on a map so like a Google map type application um, there are many different websites that can handle fit files some of them are Strava and Amondo um, map my fitness and so forth I'll show you how to do that in the next section but right now we're going to do CSV because now we can look at this in Excel and take note of the path it is going to users basically my documents link for windows exported files and we're gonna browse we can change that but again it's gonna be my documents link for windows exported files and I'm gonna keep it there because that is the default and click OK now real quickly it said 101 complete and now we can just go navigate to that folder again documents my documents link for windows exported files and I've saved several sessions here before but if we just sort by the date modified we can tell this was the latest this is the one I just downloaded and this is the one I'm going to double click to open right away it comes up in a CSV format this means comma separated so there is no formatting on this file what I would recommend doing is clicking this top right top left button and then just double clicking the column divider of the A tab and that'll space everything nicely then you may want to go to save as change this to an Excel as X file which is an Excel workbook file and save it and I already saved it once let's replace it uh, they want me to change a name so we'll just do new and save it and now we have it as an XLSX file so if we ever want to format anything say we want to highlight or do something different well this will be saved now now we see our session information up top our speed input was impeller if it was GPS it would show GPS now you can only look at one of these at a time whatever unit recorded in that's what it's going to show and we'll say our name, model, serial number, etc. Down the first line is going to be your overall session summary. If this can contain more than one interval, all the intervals will be shown here. And it'll be a just top level summary. Then we can see the summary of the individual intervals. If there was more than one interval, it would be interval one summary, interval two summary, etc. Now going down, we can look at every single stroke count that we did, one through how many the session recorded. And each one will show your individual time, your distance, if it was impeller, it'll be impeller distance. If it was GPS, it'll show your deep GPS distance. Same with your split, this was impeller split, it was impeller speed. You would see GPS if you did uh, GPS as your speed input on the GPS unit itself. Now we see the stroke rate for each stroke. This is a very fast simulated uh, device so you're not going to see stroke rates and splits this high but for uh, demo purposes this shows you everything you need. I did not have the heart rate belt on so I did not capture any heart rate. If you use the heart rate belt this of course would be captured here. And as we scroll down, we see that we can go all the way down. I believe this one had about 98, 95 strokes. Um, and that is the entire row that we did. If we'd want to graph this, we could graph it. Um, you may want to just do highlight the ones you want. You want the time, you'd hold down shift control and then hit the down arrow to capture all that take the hold down control and get these two columns as well control shift down then we're just gonna go to insert and we can pick a line graph and plop it down open it up and this is a very simple graph, but what it's showing here is your strokes per minute over your time, 
and your speed, which the speed was consistently about 10 meters per second. Um, very fast, like I said, and the strokes per minute, I was just simulating strokes by moving the device back and forth. This concludes Excel and exporting data off the unit into Excel. Um, the next video segment will show using FIT files and how to take the most advantage of that.